Hey guys, this is Manchester Gaming here. Today with the Twitch chat, we're here to bring you another Delta Auto chest. In this particular one, let's see. Do we want Beast or Goblins, guys? Guys, make the choice before round two or before this round ends. Let me know if you want Beast or Goblins. And if you guys don't say anything, what I'm going to do is I'll make a decision based on what I feel like it's going to be most fun for us. Ooh. So we do have a few goblins. We also have... Mm, wow, I got a voice on. Okay, let's make the most fun decision. I think the most fun will be the beast first. Okay. We're going with the beast to avoid the massive, massive goblin intake that's currently happening. I think it's gonna last for a few days. Ah. Let's see. Should we press for him? Hey, I think no. How are you? So let's see what we want to. Okay. Okay, Chrome, let's go beast. Because I feel that goblins oversaturated. Everyone's playing goblins. And because it's oversaturated, we really want to avoid goblins. Oh, we have so many good items. I really don't want to restart, but I don't know. It's a little slack for him. Wow, wow, wow. We're getting some anti majors. Uh. Okay, okay. We're going to stick with the... Oof. Oh no, I can't propose to restart now. Oh, he's back. That's great. Okay, this, this is the plan. I'll be sending the task to buy the anti-mage, simply because I feel anti-mage is actually better and we also get a pair. But the downside is, <laughs> I might actually lose here. Okay. In order to not lose, I'm going to give lots of good things to my Beastmaster. <laughs> yeah, he needs to act asset. Oh no, that poor guy. So we do want Beast, but I think anti major and Beastmaster is just so strong in the early game. Perfect. See, the reason we saw the task was for this top row over here. And you know, we were rewarded pretty handsomely, I have to say. Massive, massively rewarded, to be honest. Because currently we're looking at two two stars, and this is excellent for us. Unfortunate, I was thinking of restarting the game for him, but yeah, it was a little unfortunate that he dis disconnected. I didn't know you can't restart the game after round three. I was thinking of doing that round three, but it's okay. Wow, that's an angry, angry team of ogres and. Beastmaster, but luckily, so this defensive positioning really allows enchanters to be protected. <laughs> yeah, I think he found us. He found us, so he, he lost to us. Unfortunate for our friend over there. He was very nice to join us on the stream yesterday. Because we happened to meet him, and he came to the stream and said hi, we chatted a bit, we had two games. So the plan is still going to beast, but I think anti mage and elves can really help us. Uh, very nice. We got some beast over here. I think Venom is better than one star task for us. We're still gonna buy everything though. We do have a CK, and uh, personally speaking, I feel that a CK can be stronger than the Beastmaster. Well, it's hard to say, you see. CK is a little tankier. We'll take the CK, although he doesn't have any items. We might want the park though, to be honest. So let go of the Beastmaster. Buy the park. We'll give everything to the Venom. So that's better. Oh, we're facing five units. And only this a two star task, which is the scariest for us. A two second start. Enchantress is a bit slow. Okay, so you got to heal so. But Venom already died. So now it's. Okay, we can do this simply because we're in a defensive position and Enchantress starts her healing really fast, which is really good for us. 
So, let me see the chat. The Discord link you said, do you have to get a subscription to Nitro to use? No, no, I think it's free, my friend. So, Google QHL, maybe his link was out of date. I just sent the link just then, so it shouldn't be out of late. But maybe what I can do is, I can send a new one if this one doesn't work, my friend. I can definitely try to send you a new one. We're actually getting really strong, by the way, guys. Like, so strong right now with the lineup we have. It's gonna be elves and beasts by the looks of it. So, my friend, you got it? Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Yeah, the link should work, and the link was just made, so it should work for another 24 hours. We really do want to replace this pack with this phantom, so we have three elves for the evasion. We're right now, we're one of the strongest players on the map, I feel. I'm gonna quickly grab some water. No, the plan was I was gonna sell this pack for the Phantom Assassin, but because I was grabbing water, I was running back with water pulling out my hands. Because I did, I did not make it. <laughs> that's that's simply put it. Uh, let's buy some beast. We do want some nice beast. Let's buy random units. Yeah, we're still very strong. But yeah, unfortunately we couldn't buy the Phantom Assassin, but it's not the biggest loss. I think Puck can really start us on the Dragonite as well, although he's little nerfed, which is okay. And yeah, Chrome, my friend. So on the Discord link, what they actually do is they actually prompt you to link your Steam account with them. Once you do, they can actually see your rank with chess. What this does, it allows us allows them to update your chess scores. And once they update that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna unlock different lobbies as you rank up with chess. So you can play different level of players as you rank up with chess. It's very well done system. And it's a very nice system. And it's all automatically down once you learn the commands. <laughs> Did you guys see this? This is like four little venom words with one little venom. Such an MVP. Okay, very unfortunate. We couldn't find anything we're looking for. Now if we sold a few, this might help. But do I want the Luna? That's my question. I do want to keep my wing streak. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to level up. I'm going to put down a Furion. So the Furion does give me a little evasion. And I think this is great. Now the question is, do I want the Sand King or do I want the Luna? We do want Rum Beast. I think the ideal beast are Lycans with Veno because of the summon. Sand King is not a summon. So let's take Luna. Let's take Luna for now. So yeah, let me know if you run into any trouble with linking the Discord and if you have any issues with the comments, let me know and let the chat know as well. A lot of uh, regulars, uh, frequent players on the Discord as well, they can give you a good suggestion, you know, a guide, a tip here and there to help you with the comments. Now also guys, let me know if the sound and everything is okay. If, you, if the music's too loud because this is the first game of today's stream and I have been testing a few things before that so I wasn't sure if everything is like to perfection we are sitting very nicely right now our friend Adino is playing goblins by the way goblins are a bait now everyone plays it so yeah, Goblin is such a bait now, and because everyone plays it, but they haven't played as much as we did, they really get baited really hard. Now, and now is saying, did the Korea friend go for open fort after missing first rounds? Oh, let's have a look. That's a very nice adjustment. No, he didn't actually. Poor guy. So after missing the first few rounds, what he did was he bought a lot of things. He opened very wide, which I really like. Let, let me see his units. On the six units. No, he actually got the two star beastmaster and the pack. So no, he didn't go for open pot, but rather he went like 
how should I describe it? He went for more more versatile opening. So he was losing because his units aren't strong enough. But I think very soon, he's got 10 savings. Very soon he'll kick it up with maybe a timber or something. But he's going like a, a lot of late game or mid game units, but not early game units. Unlike Aster. We are all early game over here. So yeah, lucky you checked. And yeah, very spot on, my friend. Very good observation over there. I really want to see this little chest fly though. I haven't tried it before. It's like a little goat box, which is very nice. This is a very nice item for anti mage, by the way. And so is this black storm. Ooh, ooh, I am impressed with the items. I'm not gonna sell anything, which I could, but I think it's better if we don't sell. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna power level. And I'm gonna roll once. Nothing special. Let's throw again. Ugh, really sad that. Huh? Last throw. <laughs> I know, I know. Desperate rollings are not good for us. Yes, unfortunately, the best we got was a puck. Which is not that great, I have to say. And let's give this to a little banner. I think he can make do of this. There is an undead synergy here, but unfortunately, actually, what I wanted. That's my question. I might want the Fenton Ascensor, to be honest. Luna is not that important now, because a beast does so much damage. Yeah, let's get the Fenton Ascensor, because we might go with six elves while we transition from beast. I feel that the elves and beasts work so well when you evade and you can tank. But notice how we did lose our, of all our savings, so that was a big investment, guys. Big, big investment for that two-star pack. Wow, it paid off. I'm happy. Check this out, guys. Touching. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy about this. This like a little long shot here. A very lovely addition to us. It's so lovely. I think I'll put the task on. So because I already have three elves, having the task on means we have we have the double beast synergy. So right now we have four beasts and three elves, which is very lovely. So, elves and beast. We're really trying something that's not in the popular meta. Right now the popular thing is goblins. And, you know, we're trying things that's, that are not goblins simply because we want to avoid the current meta. I have just posted a, a video on us avoiding the goblin meta and playing elves. Simply because we want to take the road not taken. We want to avoid what everyone else is playing. Say goblins, say other things. Okay, good rolls for us. We are sitting on a bit of low on savings. I definitely won't be rolling here. I wish I got a lichen though. A lichen or sand king is definitely better than the task right now. With the sand king, I can transition to dragons as well later. But, you know, we take what we're given. So this one star task is just here for the 15% attack bonus for everyone. I think he's definitely worth it. I need to change the long drill a bit. But yeah, we're just banking on the 3 win streak right now. Because we know everyone's saving. That's when we punish them. We punish them by taking win streaks instead of saving hard. Oh no! Arrow from the sky, guys! That long drill had one dream. <laughs> this little word is doing work by the way it's like not losing any HP yeah we do want to kick the conquer I think we're okay with not having one turn off saving because we have three win streak right now three gold win streak it's very nice now if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any like thoughts on things definitely let me know and I'll be really happy to you know let you guys know what I think about things as well so, what are the key units we can deny? Uh, okay. The only thing we can deny was a timber, but everyone's got a two-star timber. So, technically, we don't need to deny anything. Oh, to fix our YouTube. So what I'll do is I just sell a draw ranger. I'll buy an Abaddon. Anyone wants a CK? No, no one wants a CK. 
Here we go. I think we are still going to be very strong for the next two or three turns if we don't get unlucky. When I say unlucky, is when Longdra don't summon his bear or if they just overwhelm us. I think they almost overwhelmed us here with the Beastmaster, but luckily the bear was summoned and Enchantress stayed alive. It, oh, we're flying! Very nice. Haven't seen this little chest fly before. It's the first time I use this courier. So, hey, Shadowless. How are you, buddy? Good to see you and welcome. Level 15. We don't need Abaddon. Let's just do the reverse positioning for this one. It is fine. Hey, Shadowless. I'm confused how to build mage from the early terms. Oh, uh, maybe we can do a mage one after this one, my friend. So, give you a simple suggestion with mages is that the plan for mage does not work from round 1 to 15. The plan for mage was to secure income and get enough get enough income or get enough units that you can slowly transition into mages after round 15. Too many people make the mistake of planning for mages and going for mages when they see a crystal maiden, when they see a park. Yes, they're great units, but the units that really carry mage into the mid games are like say Beastmaster, Juggernaut, even Axe, just something, even Goblins. The Tinker, the Clockwork, the Timber can really carry mages. So I feel that is a big difference between how people see mages. Oh, we just got a Vanguard. So what I suggest you to do is try some early game powerhouse like three warriors, three goblins, and start to save your mages in the storage. And then you can transition them when you get enough two star mages. That should really help. So give that a try if you have time. I think that should really give you an advantage on that. And for, as for us, I think we're going to roll once. Uh, unfortunate. We got a Viper. We're gonna do a little change of positioning. So this is the idea. I was thinking if I roll once, if I don't get anything, I'll just sell the Crystal Pendant. Now that I bought a Viper, I was kind of shot off 30. So hopefully that helps, Shadowless, my friend. And if you have any questions on mages, maybe we'll do a mage round if we get lucky next round. Next turn, then. next game, that is. In case you guys didn't know, this little Venom World now slows attack speed. So it slows 30% or 30 attack speed. Uh, yeah, slows 30 attack speed. That means the moment we have one Venom World, it means we took one Hyperstone off the enemy. That's so strong, by the way. So Venom Worlds are really up there right now. So, this is a question. Do we want to go higher? The answer is yes. Perfect. One, two, three, four. We still have four elves. This is fine. Why do I go higher? Was to push for higher chance of not losing my wing streak. I think right now people are getting a little stronger and everything helps here. I really do need to roll though. I need a lichen. Oh, I need a sand king. Other than the task. The task is not going to be that very relevant. Anti-Mage though has a battle, has not a battle free but a Vanguard. Okay, I need to fix my YouTube, sorry guys. I'm playing some copyright free music, but sometimes there's advertisement on it. I really need to fix that. Okay, we're buying Alchemist to increase our rate of finding a long druid, which is very slight. So yeah, Shadowless, maybe next game we can try Mage and I can try to show you the start of a Mage. And that should give us some suggestions on how we want to run it. Now, a Fearing or a Phantom Assassin, I think I'll take the Phantom Assassin for this particular case. Personally, I think more summons are good for us, but it's hard to say, you see. Oh no, uh, I was gonna do a little swap around, but unfortunately. Okay, Venom is okay. We can take Venom back. We sell the Alchemist and sell the Razor. So this turn was to favor the fact we want more two stars instead of just one star units. That's why we switched for this turn. Notice how all my units are two stars and three star with Enchantress. Oh, this is a little bear. So we swapped here in favor of high star units. 
because I felt like the attack damage is not that relevant. I know we have lots of units though, so it's a hard debate over here. The well, moment I get a 2 star Venom, I'll swap something else. I'll swap the Lone Druid actually. So as you guys can see, when I'm keeping a win streak, I play very differently compared to when I'm not having a win streak. Perfect. This is so lovely. We already have a lineup that's built around the Dragon Knight. The moment he appears, it's so beautiful for us. So what's happening right now is we have two beasts, one, two, three, four elves, and three dragons, which is very nice. We probably won't keep this task. And do we want six elves? That's the problem. We probably do want six elves simply because the Phantom Assassin plus the two assassins give us assassins. And Phantom Assassin is a perfect addition for us. All we can do is we can remove this one star long truth. Not by the reason though. We can also curve into mages. Oh my god, a refresher shadow thing, guys. Please stop, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> anti mage resistance says not a problem because anti mage has magic resistance and he's got a vanguard. <laughs> oh no, our friend I didn't know really didn't do well in this game. So sorry for him. Okay, lightning's here. I also got a task. So we're definitely going to keep this lichen. Question is, do I want a task? The only reason I will use the task was to run six beasts, but I think it's time that we don't need a task. Simply because we're not going to run six beasts. We're looking for a long druid, dragon knight, and a templar assassin. Which is fine. We're pretty settled. We can go with four beasts, or we can go with six elves. And we can even curve into mages with a razor, and maybe a crystal maiden later. So we're very comfortable. Oh, I did not, my friend. Rock down to Rook 4. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. So definitely try to try a different room before the rank update. And you can check my stream to see when the ranks can be updated. Definitely try a different room. And yeah, I'm so sorry, buddy. Yeah, definitely don't get baited by the goblins. They're such a big bait right now for everyone because everyone thinks they're strong. But you see, the problem is when everyone plays it, they're no longer strong. They actually hit the nerfs to goblins right now. So, but on the opposite side, there's a hidden buff to the elves and beasts because elves were just recently, you know, nerfed. So I think we take the things that people tend to not take. It's a very nice way to do it. Do we want a wing runner? That's my question. If I want a wing runner, I have to sacrifice something. Oh, I can level up. It's probably not good to level up, but we could level up. Yeah, let's level up. Okay, it's gonna be a little silly, I know. Oh, I did not come properly. Perfect. I even level a little more, yeah. I was lagging a little bit, but I shouldn't be. It's because it's Southeast Asian game. We leveled up and we spent all our gold. We lost four inches per turn, but what we did gain is we gained elf evasion. This was only viable because we know we're on lead. We also missed one unit star. So yeah, some mistakes were made, guys, but I think we won't punish that badly simply because this anti mage can take this Phantom Assassin. Other than that, we would have punished. We would have been punished massively. Very fortunate, this anti mage can really carry us. Otherwise, the enchantress can't do it. So it was a little my fault for not counting properly and not doing things properly. I decided on the last second. That was probably not the best timing. Hey. Oh, oh, I see. What happened to my DK? Did it disappear? I am not sure. Oh, guys, I made a big mistake here, didn't I? <laughs> oh, big, big mistake. Mistakes were made. Massive one. So I think I didn't level up fast enough and the game sold my DK randomly. And then I leveled up after that. So not only are we one shot, we also don't have a DK now. No wonder we lost, we almost lost that summon. Summon? Oh my god. One shot, buddy. That was the summon. <laughs> we actually have to roll for a DK now. That's so silly of me. So it made us weaker by losing the DK, by the way. We gained the LP Beijing, but we lost the DK. <laughs> 
It's so bad, I know. I don't deserve to be here. So, Chrome is saying, I link my account in Scott and it shows my wank. Where, where do you type join hashtag try to chest my comments, but I can't do that. Okay, one moment, buddy. Let me finish this round, now I'll get to you. Well, the good, the bad thing is we don't have a DK. The good thing is we have other things. So one moment, let me readjust. Oh no. We still can't fit everything, can we? Oh, we have a Viper, that's why. No wonder. So, let's see. Blood, they said, no, I decided goblins are no longer buy by the seal, right, Blood? So, NI, NI is expanding. Scroll down, there should be, that's right. So, once you update your rank, my friend, you can do hashtag, or you can do exclamation mark update, and you should update your rank. Once you update your rank, it should take you to the room that is open to you. It should be the intermediate rooms. Once you go into the intermediate lobbies, you can do the exclamation mark join. That should work. So give that a try. If it doesn't work, let us know. Hey, Reko, how are you, buddy? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you, man. By the way, guys, in case you're just tuning, I made a big mistake. I thought I could level up on time, but I, we didn't. So what that did for us is, it sold my DK. So this is a dragon run with the DK. So it's sticking with elementals. This is also a run without the Templar. Hey. I think this, this will be stronger. I hope this will be stronger. We did lose the evasion, but we have the four beasts and three assassins. Let's find out, right? Let's see how we go. We're testing a few things here. So yeah, four beasts. Very soon I might be selling the Chantress as well. So welcome everyone. And this is our first game for today. This is the first game. Oh, Lucky Bear came. He's got a refresher, by the way. That's why we died so fast. This is the first game for today and currently we have a pretty big winning streak. But yes, I did make some critical mistakes because it was a last minute decision and I underestimated how much lag would do when I should have level up. I thought I could do everything in 5 seconds but I couldn't. couldn't. So accidentally sold that DK. When it's supposed to be a mate, it's supposed to be a elf, beast, dragon lineup <laughs> and the DK got sold. Hey Shadowless. Blood, you need to learn how to transition from goblins to minion. That's right. What I need to do is I need to make another guide first because goblins are so popular. I want to make a guide to show you how to transition from goblins in the mid game and what do we need to look out for. Because goblin is a big, big trap for everyone right now. Such a big trap. I see. Does anyone have anti mage? There's one. Okay. There's two. So because it's the easy run, we really want to position my guys. So there's Laundrid on the fourth position. How many anti-mage? So anti-mage on the third position. We don't want anything here. We want my anti-mage to be on the fourth position to burn that Laundrid. This disruptor is level one. So yeah, only Laundrid is our major concern here. Laundrid is a major concern, and we need to avoid the anti-mage. Anti-mage is over there, which is fine. So usually I take the neutral rounds to look around to see how I can improve my team because although we're strong, we're not going to be strong for too long. We did actually waste a bit of gold in the saving as well. So lots of mistakes were made guys. Right now we're three assassins, three elves and lots of beasts. So we want anti-mage to be here. Second, oh, this is not anti-mage, this is the pack by the way. We don't want anything to be here because that's where anti is going to be. I want to give all the good items to the anti if possible and give the spell casting to the Sand King if possible. Let's do this. Let's see how we go. He didn't move his anti -mage. That's good. Yeah, I don't think... Okay, he's an anti is there, so we really need to avoid this spot particularly. Our anti is super tanky, by the way. And yeah, we can sell the Sand King if we lose. Yeah, this is where the anti mage is, and we're here to counter his long druid. And this is a very good spot. And we're distracting the DK, which is very nicely done. And notice how his long druid didn't get anything off. That was the key, I think, to us having a chance in the round, which we did pretty well, I have to say. 
So, record saying, my rule is, if snowball, I go with goblins late game, if not, I transition. That's a good idea, man. That's a really good rule of thumb. We don't need anything, so we just sit where we are. So, if you lose too much HP in the early game, you cannot sit and chill, search for attackies, because that's right. So, I really want to make a guide today on the balance of things. There's two things I want to do, guys. So, bear with me. I want to do a tier list, a special tier list today in the first session. So, after two or, two or three more games today in the first session, we're going to make a special tier list. This tier list will be more comprehensive and yeah, it should be very helpful for us. After that, on the second stream, I plan to make another guide. This guide will be for goblins particularly. So it should really help us to get better with goblins. And how, just like records, that when should we transition? When should we do what? And be really helpful for us. Oh, we lost, we lost. That's okay, we're prepared to lose here. Because we got savings. Who did we lose to? This particular player. Level nine, hunters, okay. Lycan is good. I feel that Lycan is better than Enchantress here. We'll keep the Enchantress for now. Let's roll. Let's see if we can get a DK. Nothing. Ugh, don't need any of that. Let's buy the Sand King for now. Yeah, the downside is we need things to protect the Venomancer, and he's not that strong now because things are really falling off fast. We're still using old units. The problem is this particular player has a DK 2 star, so us accidentally selling our DK is very bad. We helped him greatly. This is a shadow thing with a refresher, by the way. <laughs> That's why he hits so hard. Not messing around here. Oh my god, are we winning? Venom word? No, we tried. Easy losing streak, guys. Hey, Benzie, how are you, buddy? Welcome. Well, this is the first stream. Welcome. This is the first stream of the day. We have two streams usually daily. And this one will likely to go for about three to four hours. So, we might want to transition back to elves, to be honest. Let's see if that helps. So we're just testing different things. Oh no, this is not elves. This is a weird build with enchantress. <laughs> Oops, one, two, three, four, five, five elves. I'm missing Templar. I need my Templar. Yeah, we still have the perfect position to counter this Lone Druid, but the downside is, oh, well, not the downside. I was gonna say, the scary thing is we might lose the back, but we're not losing the back because we're quite strong. Okay, as long as we keep our health, we should be very comfortable. We really don't need to go to 10 because there isn't any legendary we need. We just need DK. Yeah, I'm not going to try anything. Let me take the Disruptor. anti is good. Reza is good. Uh, let's throw again. Anti mage is good. We'll stop where we are, I think. Round 30 is the lizards. Uh, we want something tanky for the lizards. We really need a 3 star anti mage because he's really fallen off. Uh, he's not. He's buying a few anti mages. He's got 3. Yeah, 3 star anti mage can really deal with mages. Oh, you know, his name says it right. So, hey, Rek Rekko said they want to change summoning, but not in the patch, right? I don't think it's in the patch, no. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> we lost big time. <laughs> Not even close. The lizards destroyed us. I should have put the viper. In. Yeah, I need the viper and the dragonite to make it work. We do want to transition to mages, so I'm actually gonna lock this thing, crystal maiden. Razor, perfect. So yes, let's transition. Let's take something special and transition. No, we don't need the enchantress no more, so we'll sell the small one, get the item. Give it to the Viper, I'll give it to the Razor. So the reason I'm transitioning guys, is I feel like unless we find the Templar, 
we're not gonna do much unless we find the what you call it unless we find the dragon eye so be, before that we really want some best and mages are great for us well i was gonna say they're great but we're lacking some damage here as you can see <laughs> not good that's okay we still have hp to transition we still can lose three times i think but after that we're in trouble A very wild game this one is because I accidentally saw the DK that really ruined everything of the mid game for us. Perfect. Uh, we can let the Viper go. Go up, that is. Uh, we don't need the train character. We do not need the Fearion. We do want, and there's a magic actually. So, yeah. Because of that, we're going to 10 now. Can we make it? I want to make it. Perfect. So this way we have the mage lineup, we have the dragon. Should give us the little bit of burst we just need at the start of the game. Like it? Summon? Thank you. Yeah, although the DK died, I think we have a decent chance of not losing too hard. Because <laughs> we're still in the process of transition as you can see. Big transitions. As long as we don't lose to him, this is a two-star Templar. Never lucky with us, right? No DK, no Templar. All we're hoping for is for them to take out each other. Anti-Mage, Sand King, don't need like him no more. Let's see one more Anti-Mage. Sand King is good. Oh, guys, guys. Oh no, god, I misclicked. Okay, I was compensated for a D with a DK, but that was a big mistake, I have to say. Mr. Sanking, definitely bad. Missing one anti mage, two Sanking, and one DK right now. And we do want to s replace this Lycan, by the way. Oh, wow. That's why we needed the mages, because they burst us and we burst them. And we are tankier. And he is a highest threat because he actually defeats almost everyone oh no he just lost to someone <laughs> it's funny when one might say something accidentally we get it wrong yes i did miss the lich then i but the fact is cm is better than lich first strangely now i have to say even the one cm is better than lich first just for now perfect uh don't need anything perfect I know strangely enough, right? CM is better than first. M in the right place. M, M. Number three, counter the tide. No, I want him to be on number four if possible. Oh, we'll switch, we'll switch. Okay. We don't need to switch. Okay. Oh my god, he countered my Lone Druid here. And the tide. Oh my gosh. Not being nice to us, is he? But yeah, the CM allows us to get our spells off. That's pretty crucial. Because if we got spells off early, there's a chance of us getting another round of spells off. And unfortunately, we did lose this one. But we're very close. We're very close to a lot of good things. This is nice. I probably shouldn't be rolling here, but it's okay. It's one gold of difference. This is a round I want to see the positioning. The disrupt us on fourth. Who do we just lost? We lost to the Dragon Eye player. His AM is where Lone is. We want to take his tide, so we actually need to change up my AM here. And Lone Druid needs to run away. I can work out this one easy though. It's just in the DK. Really just in the DK? And this is not bad for our one of the units. I think I can give it to Lone Druid. Or maybe I am. Okay, perfect. Let's see if we get a lucky sanking. Lone Druid is excellent. Last row. Wow, close enough. So yes, I am is where the, this is. Sanking can stay here. 
We need to protect the DK as with all cost. Okay, this should be okay, but we're not sure. So what I'm gonna do is, if I feel like we're in trouble, <laughs> I'll be giving the blink dagger to a particular unit, and they can blink away from trouble. Okay. Maybe give it to Lycan. Blink buddy! See, he escaped danger. Now he can summon. <laughs> I know it's something very small, but hey, if it works, it works, right? <laughs> he, he got the summons off. Right, right, see? We did it simply because he got the summons off. Well, I'm just saying that. <laughs> something small, guys. Okay, we need a long druid. We need the two other druids. We also need a Senki. Mistakes were made, I know. Sand King. <laughs> we found everything else we wanted. Okay, we're still countering that tide. We're still countering that tide as well. Sand King can stand to the side. Where are the anti mages? Okay, good. So this lineup protects the DK, while this lineup's over here. Oh, did I roll over 2 cm? Then I. <laughs> Oh my god, so distracted buddy. So I was completely thinking of something else here. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like I rolled over to CM. That's so bad of me, right? But hey, maybe it was planned. I didn't want us to cast so fast. No, there's no excuse, I know. <laughs> there's no excuse. Anti-mage? Oh, so sad. <laughs> yeah, I rolled over to CM. I was looking for something else. Very bad of me. <laughs> Yeah, the Sand King, man, such a hate. I made a big mistake on the Sand King, I have to say. Okay. Nothing, which is fine. We do want Lycan to be in the front to have a chance of silencing an enemy. Lycan is then here, actually. Anti Mage is fine. I think this position is fine. And I can, can attack the enemy in the front, but he's gonna blink in until his death. So we probably don't need Lycan. And we already, we have three beasts here. Here we have a chance of silence here. Not only did we silence the disruptor, we also burn his mana. And the tide didn't get a chance. But I think that was kind of key for us. <laughs> Again, his defensive position is too strong. Okay, we got one. We did get one. Got one guy. Big sniper though, very big sniper. Can he survive? He just survived. So yeah, maybe let's think about the Lich here. No, we got no space for Lich, we got no space for Templar. Never Sand King. Let's try. Maybe Lich is better than Sam, I'm not sure, to be honest. I really need to change my DK position to over here next turn. Yeah, I know the techies keeps coming, right? Then I, a little guy's taunting us too hard. Okay, perfect, Sand King, very smart, buddy. No, the tide, not like that. Okay, good summon. Anti mage is doing it, and we do have a lich now, which is better than the same. I do agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Anti mage is better. The the CM is not that good. Lich can do magic when Lich can summon. Okay, we're gonna face the chores now. We actually need an Enigma. Eh, we should have bought an Enigma earlier, I know. Oh, so that crystal made another one came. Can't use a DK right now. Again, because it's chores, we kinda want things to tank evenly. Because we have no nothing great here. Yeah, I think this this is okay. Once I okay is that meant we won't die, I think they might die, but he's got one unique one. The mage is under threat. Lich is in the front, so Lich can get things off, but you know, it never works to plan, you know. We have one dream, is to just kill one troll. If we can kill two troll, we're really happy by the way. Okay, we kill one. Bring two, kill one more? No, never lucky. 
Oh, we won't die there. Just perfect. Okay, this is how we win, guys. <laughs> we use the trolls, we take them with the trolls. Zen King? Zen King! Enigma came, so did Long Druid. Ah, ah. Okay, brain freeze for a moment, sorry. I was like, did I have enough gold? This should do. And we'll go to the corner and we'll pray now. Okay, anti mage is on spot, I think. Thank you. Good boy. Oh no, the tide. And a disruptor. And it goes a backline, by the way. <laughs> we lost. I know, so many mistakes were made, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. It was the first game of the day, and I was little. It died as well, but right after. Yeah, nothing changed for us actually, because we didn't gain much rank, because we were ranked now. So sorry guys, small mistakes were made. I think we had some fun with this game. You could definitely see my mistakes with missing the CM, with missing the tanking, and especially missing accidentally selling my DK. So I was really overjudging my ability to do things under the time limitations, and definitely some mistakes were made. The key highlight for this replay is the early game. How I played the early game, how I played the winning streak to perfection, not to perfection, but ideally that's how you want to play the early game. So thank you guys so much for, for watching, and please remember to subscribe and like. Thank you guys so much, I'll see you guys next time.